fine. And in previous videos, I've talked about this idea because it's really an important focus for me. So that I draw a vertice in every intersection of, of an edge. So anytime lines cross, I'm drawing this dot or vertice. It's not always true in every graph, but we can assume it here because um, we're given a blank graph without vertices, so it makes sense to, to put them in where they might go. And we can think of the blue or teal lines or edges as bridges and the pink dots as islands. So the question then is, if I'm sitting here at one of these islands, which one do I start from in order so I can walk around every bridge, get to every island, and without crossing any bridge more than once? So can I get to every island and cross every bridge without using a bridge more than once? And the answer is yes. Uh, next important step is to write down the degree of each vertice, which is the number of edges going to it. And that usually reveals some very important information. Notice here that there are only two vertices with an odd degree. All right? These one, two vertices each have five bridges or edges going to them. And it tells me that I have to start or end at an odd degree, at one of these odd degree islands. Something I talk about a lot in other videos that's quite intuitive. I encourage you to try starting at other ones and see what problems you run into. But but the idea is that you have to start here or here. Let me start here. I'm going to walk down and just meander around because I'm just still playing with this problem. Especially when you're, you're new to graph theory, you want to get a sense of it by playing with it. Playing with numbers and graphs can really give you a sense of the mathematics. And the way I'm playing with this is just to make sure that I never actually get stuck on an island. That's exactly what I'm doing here. Just showing you how you can actually get around, cross every bridge without running into any trouble. Alright, hope that helped.